Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Freedom Munitions 223, okay? Uh, one of the things I like about it is that they sell it in a 50-round uh, box. I have no idea who, whoever got the stupid idea to sell 223 in 20-round boxes. I mean, this stuff is probably closer to a pistol caliber uh, than like a 308. so... Um, you know, in, in, in weight anyways, right? It makes a lot more sense to package this in a 50 round box, okay? So uh, I find that a lot more convenient, a lot more efficient, cuts down on the cost of the packaging. Uh, so uh, this uh, 223, right, is a new product for Freedom Munitions. They did sell, and they, you know, they, they've been selling 223 on their, on their website, but it's usually marked reman, so it's remanufactured. Uh, basically, they reload the cases. Um, and from what I read on their website, they've uh, they're, they're they're basically producing their own cases now, or they've increased the capacity to produce their own cases. So so this is marked as a new product, uh, and that's great because the price of two two three has gone up. Um, you know, a lot more people are now shooting 9mm ARs versus 5.56 ARs because 5.56, uh, in many cases, is twice as expensive. Um, so th the price for this is, is really, you know, it, it's kind of like where it was a few years back, okay? Uh, so a, a box of 50 rounds, I work down here somewhere, I think it's, it's $24.50, okay? $24.50. Okay. Okay. Um, and if you get, I think something like 200 rounds of it, you get free shipping. Uh, so I bought, uh, I got 400 rounds of this and, you know, to my door, right. With shipping and everything, uh, well, actually with free shipping with the taxes, right. So to my door, it was $217 for 400 rounds. Okay. Shipped to my door. Okay. Um, so a lot of times when you're shopping around, you have to look at the shipping costs because one of the things I do is like I'll go to Ammo Seek, I'll look at you know I'll I'll search two two three and uh, this comes out to something like uh, I think it was something like ten dollars and eighty five cents, right? If you if you do the math uh, for, if, for if that's what it would be for a box of twenty rounds. So if you're going through like Ammo Seek, um, first of all a lot of the stuff there is steel case or it's remanufactured, all right? So it's reloaded. Uh, but when, uh, I was able to find stuff that was like new brass, uh, in some cases it was a little bit cheaper, but then you had to pay the shipping cost on top of that. The only way to know for sure is to actually like go to the website, select it, put it in your cart and, and see, have the website calculate for you, uh, what it's going to cost you with shipping and taxes to your door. Uh, and then do the same thing with freedom munitions and see what it's gonna what it's gonna cost you okay so for the 400 rounds like i said it was 200 dollars shipped you know that's with with, with the because obviously the, the shipping the shipping costs are included in one way or another okay so even though they say free shipping over 200 dollars somehow or other it's in there okay so so it's it's, it's 217 dollars uh with for 400 rounds with with with, with you know uh, to your door okay um now, uh, let's talk about accuracy. Uh, I, I did quite a bit of shooting with this. Uh, on average, what I found, and I tested it with two guns, 18-inch uh, barrels, my Ruger MPR and my Palmetto 223 Wild. Uh, on average, I was hitting about an inch and a half group, uh, four out of five shots at about an inch and a half, and then I would get like a flyer that would open up the group to like almost three inches, okay? So I saw that pattern a lot of times where I would get, uh, there's another one over here, okay? Where I would get like an inch and a half group and then I would get like this weird flyer out there that was about three inches. Uh, another one here. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four shots there inch and a half and then I get one down there so you know three inches okay so so that's the pattern that I have seen repeated repeatedly if you do a five shot group uh four out of five inch and a half uh and then your fifth shot's gonna 
open up to like somewhere, uh, you know, out to about three inches, two and a half to three inches. Now, uh, I shot this over two days, right? Uh, and it wasn't like two days back to back. It was two days that were almost a week apart. And uh, on both days, there was a little bit of a wind. Okay, so, and it's like, like right now it's like picking up. So it's, it's hard for me to tell how much of it the wind was a factor. I mean, at 100 yards, right, because there's 100 yard groups. Um, I mean, uh, the wind can move you, move you five, five, six, or you two, two, three, up to an inch, right? Half inch to an inch. Um, so yeah, so on both of these days, there was a little bit of inconsistent wind, okay? Um, but that said, I can getting four out of five, inch and a half, I think that's pretty decent, okay? So, so that's it on accuracy, right? Now let's talk about velocity, okay? Because uh, when you go to the website, they're gonna quote this ammunition uh, as 3,200 feet per second, 3,200 feet per second. I ran this through the chronograph. I don't know, when they came up with that 3,200 feet per second, they must have been shooting this out of like a, a 26 inch barrel, okay? Uh, I shot this out of my 18 inch barrel, okay? Through the chronograph, uh, 18 inch barrel, oops. Uh, these are five shot groups of uh, velocity 29.15, okay? 20, average velocity 29.15. So that's a uh, muzzle energy of 10.38. Yeah, that's out of an 18 inch barrel, okay? Uh, I did it again over here, same thing, five shot group. Uh, uh, velocity 29.76. Uh, energy 10.82 uh, uh, foot pounds, okay? Now, I also shot this out of a 16-inch barrel, out of the 16-inch barrel. Okay, again, five-shot group. Uh, the velocity was 28-28, okay, 28-28. Um, so the energy out of a 16-inch barrel comes down to uh, 977 foot-pounds of energy, okay? So this is actually running about running about where Tula runs, okay? So as far as your your energy downrange, uh, it's it's comparable to Tula steel case, okay? So it, it's on the lower end, okay? So, I mean, that, that's... Now, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but that's just, that's what it is. Um, if you're calculating for a bullet drop, you know, you got to calculate for these slightly slower velocities, okay? Um, now, one of the things I did like, like initially when I took my five-shot group, I looked at the variance, right? So five shots. The difference between like the highest and the lowest speed, right? Because because if you got if you have a very small variance, that's usually going to mean that you get like like very consistent groups, right? Very tight groups. So initially, like the the first five shots I, I that I shot uh, was a variance of twenty one, okay? Which was like wow. I mean that's like what I get out of like match grade ammunition, okay? Um, so then I shot it again, and next time it opened up to 26, five-shot group. I did it again, next time it opened up to 77. Uh, so I, so here's the interesting thing. So, you know, getting, like if I, like, like that, the first one I shot, right, through the, through the chronograph, that gave me a variance of only 21 feet per second between my fastest and my slowest shot in a five-shot group. If I, if I had put that on paper at 100 yards, I probably would have got like a half inch group if I was shooting right. Okay, so occasionally you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get the stars to line up like that, and you're gonna be like, wow, I mean, I, I got such a tight group. Okay, uh, but then like you know the next two times I shot it, I got 96, then I got 77. Okay, so that seems to be more of the average, which isn't terrible. I mean that's uh, you know I mean that's 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 not terrible. That's pretty average for target two two three okay so that's a that's a decent uh variance okay um but yeah so but yeah it was like initially it kind of like blew my socks off i was like wow i got a variance of, of 21 so i was i was thinking hey maybe i've got myself some really cheap match grade ammunition here that was a, that was a fluke that was like five shots i hadn't been able to repeat that um and and sometimes like if you're shooting like i'll get like a three shot group where, the, where at 100 yards, because like here's the thing, you can shoot, if you shoot enough three-shot groups, you're going to get half-inch groups, okay, um, with three-shots group, 
it's three shot groups. But if you try to do five shot groups, you're not gonna get it. You're gonna get, you know, you're gonna see that it's gonna start to, uh, you know, to fall into line with the averages. Okay, so that's why you can't just go based on three shot groups. You gotta do five shot groups, and and you gotta do a lot of them. Okay, so uh, and like I said earlier, the average is um, four out of five. You'll get an inch and a half. And then that fifth one's gonna open up to like almost three inches. Okay, so that's that's the average of what I'm seeing with this. Um, and so far, I've been probably through uh, at least I don't know sixty or seventy rounds of this. Okay, um, so uh, decent stuff, especially given that uh, you know five 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 six two two three ammo. You know, has been uh, you know there's been a very high demand for it lately. A lot of it's been shipped overseas, so. Uh, I'm really happy that Freedom Munitions has expanded their capacity. It's, it's probably not the cheapest price out there, all right, but it's it's a, it's a pretty good price. And again, don't you get, you gotta look at the shipping costs uh, with Freedom Munitions. Sometimes here's the thing: you gotta follow the website. You know, sometimes they'll have like five dollar flat rate shipping. Sometimes they'll have like fifteen dollar flat rate shipping. Uh, sometimes they'll have free shipping. Okay. Uh, sometimes they'll have full price shipping, okay? So you you know you kind of have to like follow them and and time your purchases so that you get the best shipping prices, uh, and that makes a big difference, okay? And when you do see uh, like like free shipping or something, yeah, get yourself a lot of you know get yourself a lot of ammunition, okay? Uh, that's so you want to time it, okay? And if you're comparing the 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 costs to other brands, other shippers out there, um, you know, you, again, you got to, you know, go to the website, drop everything into your cart, you know, get to like the checkout point where, so you can see what it's going to cost you with shipping and taxes. And now you can compare the two and you can make sure that you get the best price. Okay. So, um, you know, I've been shooting, uh, the, the reason why I got into Freedom Munitions is because I was uh, looking for something decent for my uh, AR-10, okay, so I was very happy with the 308s, um, with the 308s, um, I've been getting like inch and a, inch and a half, inch and a quarter inch, inch and a quarter uh, MOA groups, uh, and uh, the 147 grains, especially the 150 grain uh, 308s, they're really at the high ends, right, out of my 20 inch barrel, uh, I was getting velocities of like around 2800 feet, 2, feet per second on the 308, uh, and energies of like 2,600 foot pounds. So, so, so that was like a, like near the high end of what you typically see with 308 ammunition. So I was kind of hoping that, or I kind of expected that I would see the 223 also at the higher end uh, as far as energy, you know, velocity and energy. Uh, and but that's not the case. It's at the lower end. Not that that makes a, that big of a deal, but. Um, just be aware of it if it's if it is something that matters to you um, So drop some comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Hope the video was useful and I'll talk to you all soon